hello everyone welcome back um so i have on my table today um a box to unbox and also i've got this very old a little bit wobbly so she's a little bit noddy <laughs> um pippa clone doll and she's marked hong kong um i don't know what sort of clone she is is she a dawn uh, I don't really know much about them, but um, actually my husband found her in a, um, I think it was an antique store, and he sent me a photo. Uh, she was five pounds, <laughs> and he said, do you want her? And I said, yes. <laughs> so, uh, so here she is. Uh, she's looking a little bit worse for wear. She has got some missing eye paint and her hair has i think it has been cut i know some of these dolls ha um, had short hair but i think this is a little bit too short uh, i think it's definitely had a bit of a a, a snip um, she has got her original dress on which i really like and it's glued glued onto her back she's got some knickers on um, and the dress is really lovely. I love the colours. I love this green with the the white, used to be white, <laughs> lace on the um, sleeves and around the neck. So, yeah, I think I have got some little shoes. Mind you, I don't know whether I have got some shoes for this heel, but I'm sure I've got some little pippa shoes hanging around somewhere so I can... Um, hopefully find those and put them on her and uh yeah i was really pleased with her i have got some hair so i thought i might actually attempt to do her reroute her i'll have to have a look online to see on youtube uh to see if there's a specific video for these lovely dolls She's, I think what's happened, she was rooted from the middle and then I can feel that there's glue. So it was rooted and then glued down. So I'm wondering if it was actually her original style. It just seems a little bit short, but I do think that she would look nice. It's very coarse and dry and yeah, so it might be a good opportunity to test my face painting skills. <laughs> I'm not very good at that to be honest, um, but I could have a go. Be very careful. Uh, her arms are a different colour to her, the rest of her body, so there's been a lot of fading there. Uh, and she's got lovely pink flesh coloured legs, but her arms have gone, yeah. <laughs> she looks like she's drained a uh, the blood has drained from her arms which is unfortunate unfortunate but they are working and her legs are working and she's got a twist turn waist um but her head i might have to pop her head off and see if i can do anything to stop it wobbling so much there's definitely a little problem there but i was really pleased with her and she was five pounds so I think that was a bargain because her dress is worth more than five pounds as it is <laughs> but um and i thought actually let's do a little makeover video with her um i haven't got any of these dolls i've had a few over the years which i've then sold um so i haven't got any at the moment so so yes there she is uh, so I was really pleased to get her and rescue her. I don't know how long she'd been in that antique shop. But also I ordered from eBay some... Let's see what I ordered because... <laughs> I saw these online and they were a reasonably good price. They looked really scruffy and I thought they could do with... A Charlie makeover. <laughs> of course there is 
the gorgeous Ariel. Look, poor Ariel. And she's got shoes as well. These aren't her original shoes, I'm pretty sure. Um, but she's got shoes. She's got her, I would think her, her shoes would be the jelly, the glitter jelly, pink. Um, those are nice shoes though. Really pretty. Um, so I thought, actually, she's not in bad condition from the pictures. Um, I mean, there's no product in her hair, so I think she should come up quite well. She's tidy, her clothes are all intact, there's no missing paint from her bodice. Let's have a look what year she is. So, 2013. So, she's 11 years old. But she's still got the elastic here from the box. It's interesting. Um, and then I have got Cinderella. They've tied her into the box with Oh, her eyes look a little bit strange. She's got lovely side glancing eyes, but oh, they don't look too bad. That's unusual. Um, got her shoes as well. She's got her lovely dress and her choker. So they're all really intact, which I thought was a surprise because the hair is really, <laughs> really, really scruffy. So let's see if I can move the camera a little bit. Dress is nice. Let's have a look what date is she. I really don't like it when they print on the back like that. Can't see the date. She's from Euro Disney. So there we go, my little French princess. <laughs> and then we've got the lovely Belle. And I haven't got Belle. I don't think I've got Belle, actually. I'm lying, I think I have got a Belle. Um, again, she's got the, yeah, she's got this elastic still on, shoes. Belle's got such a beautiful face. She's not the most popular Disney doll, is she, Belle? Nice bodice. Yeah, so, yes, really pleased with her. And then we've got Rapunzel. I love Rapunzel, such a lovely character. And again, she's got her little shoes. I think those are the original shoes. Hair is a complete matted mess. But it's, um, you know, I think if you give it a lot of condition, a lot of conditioning, ah. Uh, there's no loss of hair on any of them. I think it will come back into a nice, into ni a nice condition. And she's got, they've all got their full outfits on or costumes and shoes. So 
yeah, really pleased with them. I do like my Disney princesses, as you were aware. So, I will endeavour to give them a makeover and then show you the finished result. Hopefully I'll be able to do that this week. I've got quite a busy week, but there are the girls. There are the girls. I can't remember how much I paid for these. I think I put in an offer which was accepted. Um, nice. Really, really pretty. Uh, as you'll see on my table, I'm getting ready for Halloween. So I've got the um, lovely Claudine and Cruella. Uh, and I'm hoping if I get chance to do a little video making over one of my dolls into a Halloween um, a Halloween doll. <laughs> so uh, look out for that. Um, and thank you very much for watching everybody. Goodbye from us.